My mic was muted. I gotta find a clip to edit to that. It gotta be something real stupid though. Well, welcome everyone. Last stream was pretty interesting. We uh ran into a fake zoo. Probably the least expected thing I see to see in this game, honestly. And, uh, we also shot some people, which is pretty. I'm pretty sure we do that every every stream. We're on chapter three now, and I'll continue. It. Weird English guy gave me a pretty decent image for my trouble. Maybe he wasn't so bad after all. You know what? Before we do anything, we're gonna get to see if we can see how much that's worth. That's where we need to go. Alright. I'm gonna go there first. This dude screwed me. Gave me yeah. some fake camera. I'm gonna find him. What the heck is that? Hey. Someone tried to do that. What the heck was that? I saw a red dot on the map. I was. I ain't played this in a, in a little bit. I hope no freaking fights. I hope we don't get no fights. Okay. Goodness. Go, go. What the heck is... Like snakes or something? Put this house. Alright, can I rob this house? Well, don't be shy, partner. No such thing as a stranger here. <laughs> Hello, sir. Well, you look like you need to take a load off. What? Why didn't you tell me we had guests coming? I'd have fixed myself up nice. Oh, now you know you look perfect, princess. <laughs> uh, I ain't no guest, miss. I'm just passing through. Oh, nonsense. Well, come on in. Rest a while, and we got food on the stove and a bottle of the good stuff we've been saving. It's decided, then. I'm gonna go freshen up. I appreciate the offer, but I, I best be on my way. Oh, come on now. How you gonna turn down a hot meal and good company? <laughs> I'll go open that bottle. <laughs> right. I feel like anybody that offers you a bottle or something, it is not good. What? So I went to one. That's kind of bull crap. Journal entry should be a way to all morning for this food to open up. Where the heck is it now?
Oh, this is the place we killed that one. He killed our. <laughs> Bro, that was crazy. tried that plan over there and it was like a gunshot Ain't oh. a plan. Remember, remember the one with the pink flowers tiny little bastard wow. steer clear thanks mister i owe you my life and hey, you let me get you the hard way you going back to this you know, yeah just like you, you can you can go and pick it just yeah. so you don't get it. Oleander Sage, Oleander <laughs> Yep, we can find these. Keep it a mess of dudes up. Doesn't that again? Not you up in the car. Yep. I won't, man. I ain't doing nothing. I'm just here doing mission. I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Damn it, Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. You coming in or what? Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. see you at the sheriff's office excuse me friend we friends not yet but he is hoping I guess we don't get a lot of traveling men here and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place is there what are you doing here I was just looking for work well looking for something don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. 
beyond blind loyalty and stupidity. I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We grays, we've much? always got money. No brains, mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she <laughs> loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out All right. Thank you, Jake Brown. Come on, horse head. I'll buy one here. You can't be walking here. Get out right. Alright. Hey, hey, I'm just a tourist. You keep going now. I don't want to see you back here. Okay. At least they ain't shooting me. Gotta find another way around. How the heck can I get around then? They live there. Patrolling in every area, they kind of see me. Stuck past that dude right there. Like, he can't even see that far either. I 
go over there. Why well, I'm thinking it's this big house over here. That this wasn't really hard, I'm just retarded. Or stupid, as they will say. Out of duty. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> A letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. Oh, he is so... Strange. <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. <laughs> have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are there's something else. <laughs> have you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. I, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Yeah, sneak back out. I kill people. Ah, oh, dang it. I ain't trying to do it. Get more. 
Not a smart move to travel alone in these parts, especially looking like you. Don't want any trouble. Just passing through. You look like you might need a few smacks to set you straight. I guess I was told. <laughs> You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, <laughs> take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. <laughs> She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. Oh, what? No. Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. In like what? Six dollars? Four dollars? All right. Well, follow me to Rhodes. Come on. Come on. Yeah. We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. Oh. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. There they are. The heck no, no. Ladies. Oh, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob, bro. <laughs> they need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what, your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun, Miss Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun, normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a... Protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Mm. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the Let's steps of the Mega Road, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm oh, just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. 
I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. I ain't got my gun. Main Street. Uh. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This cat is fine, sir. Ladies, get down. Oh, I know what the heck they were saying. Go home. Shut your mouth. What the hell is going on? Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equal. Oh. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Wow. Mm. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Yeah. 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 Hey, you tell us. Hey. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always will. Bo, why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me. Hope you got to find out. Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. But a land of the future. A land of equality. A land of progress. Look at what we have built. But you don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. <laughs> sooner it's out, sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure? You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Good man here. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. But you should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. How much is it? 